Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are doing very well and enjoying snow here. Uh, we discussed about uh, basic uh, graph algorithms like breadth first search, depth first search. Today, we're going to be discussing about uh, topological sorting. Okay. Uh, what essentially topological sorting is, uh, it is nothing but a uh, ordering, linear ordering. And uh, we do it for a uh, directed acyclic graph, okay? So what, what is the special thing about uh, topological sorting is that, that uh, after this sorting, your vertices are arranged in a certain order, uh, such that if there is an edge in, in your graph, so that u and v, if you do not write it this way, then u appears before v in your linear ordering. And that sort of ordering uh, is applicable in many fields. Um, so let's discuss what essentially this algorithm is. It is a very simple algorithm. If you have uh, watched the previous lecture for depth first search, uh, we just gonna extend that algorithm for topological sorting. Okay, so in the depth first search algorithm, what we learned that we maintain a certain kind of start time and finish time for each vertex. Okay, so that basically that's the uh, key point here, the the ending time. Okay, or the vertex when it is finished. Um, or when it, it, its color turned to black, okay? And as soon as the each vertex is finished, you put that vertex in a linked list, good? And just keep on adding the finished vert vertices in the linked list, in the same order as they finish. And at the end, you will get a linked list of vertices, which will be uh, topological sorted. All right, so let's see an example. For example, we have this uh, directed acyclic graph, a hypothetical example. And as we do in a depth first search that uh, we color the vertices. Coloring is a general phenomena you can apply to varieties of algorithms. In general, um, it just uh, makes your life easy when dealing with the graph algorithms. So in the beginning, you color all to white and your starting vertex, which is A, you color it to gray. And this time one means start time when this vertex is discovered. And slash here, it will be finish time when this vertex is fully explored or finished. We discussed these concepts when we were discussing depth first search algorithm in detail. So if you're not familiar with start time or finish time, those concepts or how the graph is stored in the memory, we are assuming here the adjacency list uh, storage. We discussed adjacency list uh, storage uh, of graphs in our, in our previous lecture. So like each vertex, whatever components are connected to it, it is stored in a list, okay? So it says in this way, you can fill it up all other elements in the list, okay? And in the beginning, we only have a, a starting vertex, okay? And uh, for this algorithm to work, we maintain a linked list. Uh, a linked list will contain basically the linear ordering, the, all the vertices in that linear topological order, okay? The beginning list is empty. Now, we are at A. If we move forward, we discover the C, vertex C, and we update its discover time to 1 plus 1, according to depth first search algorithm and still our list is empty 
we have moved from A to C. Okay, and then you know keep on going in in the depth first order C to E. Okay, discover time, and list is still active. Then E to F. Okay, we have an edge from E to F, uh, directed edge. So we moved from E to F, and we updated the colors of the vertices to gray as they are discovered and uh, the discovered time okay now we have no more uh, uh, discovery left from the vertex f it means that we found that it is been fully discovered or it is finished okay so we make uh, the color of the vertex f black and we put this vertex f in the linked list uh, the notation here like this 4 and 5 it's just to explain you okay so you may store may not store this information but this is just to store you that this vertex went to the list and its discover time was 4 and finish time was 5 okay same way we keep on going now we move backwards we went to e is finish time was 6 okay we color it and we put it in list linked list okay now after e we check if there are any more uh, children of c left yes we have a link for, to children d and we discover d and discover time was seven okay and list we didn't update any list because we have only two black vertices two vertices in the list now from the d we cannot go anywhere so we it means that we finish d we update its finish time and put it in the list okay now back to c same thing we we did for the c updated its uh, finish time and put it in the linked list right and finally we reached at the source starting vertex a and we updated its uh, finish time color it black we fully discovered it put it in the list now we have only left b so what would be the discover time for b 11 and b is a separate uh, separate node it is not associated with this tree depth first search tree but it will become a separate tree okay and we have uh, only one connection from b that that is d but d is already discovered okay so we have no more uh, vertices left which is adjacent to b needs to be discovered it means that we discovered fully b and color it to black and update its finish time okay and put that b in the linked list okay now as you can see here that uh, that b along with this uh, other uh, what we were exploring here so we have these two trees okay so we may call it a dfs forest depth first search forest right and if we try to understand the complexity how much time this algorithm gonna take so think about uh, we discussed that uh, dfs uh, depth first search gonna take uh, time in the order of uh, v plus e um, assuming that uh, we are restoring um, this graph in a list format adjacency list format okay so now here we are not doing anything extra other than just putting this uh, vertex in the linked list which is in the order of uh, one so we are just uh, putting it in the linked list and that operation gonna be in the order of one so the overall time and dfsg we discussed in the previous lecture this is its time would be v plus e okay so overall time of this algorithm gonna be in the order of v plus e very simple fantastic and as you can see here our list linked list that is finished now if we try to analyze let's say we take an example of uh, edge d to e which was our condition that if there is any edge u u comma v that is an edge so let's say we have an edge d 
comma e okay so what what it says that u appears before v it means the d appears before e so if we can see this d it appears before e okay so see the ordering how it is working now we can take another example of uh, let's say a and c okay there is an edge between a and c so simply you can see see a and c there is an edge okay and it's in that same order right so essential insight from this algorithm what what we have is that um, say we this f was the last node in the first uh, depth first search tree and see how it is at the at the very bottom of, of your linked list okay so if we see the edge ef okay let's say an edge e f okay so e should come before f all right so e is coming before f all right so you can analyze the rest of the uh, edges if you want to but but that was the simple idea about uh, topological sort um in certain situations it is very useful for example if you want to find out uh, you know what um, let's say you have been given a map of different cities and different cities are connected via uh, different other cities and you construct a uh, directed acyclic graph then you can find out that what are the possible uh, routes paths you may have from one city to another city and in some order you can say okay I need to visit first this city and then that to minimize my cost okay so that's that sort of uh, situation or there may be other situations for example uh, let's say let's discuss an uh, uh, example say for example before going to you know teach uh, and I have to dress up and I have uh, you know um, there is a certain sequence for clothing I have to follow let's say under shorts and then I put pants and you know what not like as as we can um, see in this in this graph example problem that uh, um, this is a typical hypothetical example you may think of that I have to put on my socks shoes shirt jacket tie watch hat what not and there is a certain sequence it's like i can't wear the pant before uh, i wear the undershorts or it means i mean in other words i have to wear the undershorts first before wearing the pants so there is a certain sequence i have to follow okay it means that i need some sort of ordering okay so that problem is very uh, similar to the problem which we just discussed uh, with a hypothetical graph example so can you help me can you help me to um, figure it out the solution for my dress up in the morning okay so think about it this example is discussed in your textbook all right i have slightly modified it um, but think about it it's a very simple solution you can maybe you can help the professor to dress up all right guys so thank you very much for uh, listening me watching uh, lectures uh, at Lee Professor YouTube channel and thank you for your wonderful comments um, those are really encouraging and those who have not subscribed please do subscribe and uh, if you like the videos don't forget to click like button and also if you think that uh, you can help us in improving the video lectures we welcome your feedback and comments Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.